Okay, Marie, this is a song that we're going to dedicate to Joe and Marie. I hope that they get down to Portilla on a long weekend, put on those boards and those fast clothes, and uh, they'll probably look a little bit something like this. Super skier as he sat around the sun deck, he swore that he'd never spill. But when they finally took him down, they had to use three toboggans to carry all those pieces down the hill. For he was a going down the slope, a doing 90 miles an hour when he caught an edge of his ski. His clothes, they were fast, but the slopes, they were faster. That's the last of super skier we shall see. Oh, he hollered, what the hell, as he put them parallel. He figured there was nothing else to learn. As he started on his way, he shouted on delay, assuming that he'd never have to turn. Oh, he was slipping down the slope, doing 90 miles an hour, when the mogul flipped him in the air. Now his jumping form was fine until he ran into a pine, and two one-legged skiers left from there. Oh, one ski was headed east, and the other headed west. Both halves were skiing freer. The folks on Little Nell, they looked up scared as hell. They said, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's super skier. Well, the moral of this story, though this story's kind of gory, is simple, even to a dope. Buy the fastest clothes you can. Talk your skiing like a man. But don't let people catch you on the slope. Joe and Marie, since you've been up there to Portilla and saw all those good ski slopes and lodges and lift lines and tickets to be bought and a place to spend all that money, we got a little song for you here, which is a little bit before the inflationary period, but this was back in the days when $3 bought certain things like lift tickets and and dormitory lodging, and I hope that you can find as good accommodations up at Portilla for three dollars as we did in the old days. Oh, the dormitory lodging left something to desire. The wind was blowing through the log, there wasn't any fire. The bunks were made of cordwood, the mattress full of fleas. The landlord looked me in the eye and said, three dollars, please. Three dollars, please. Three dollars, please. Oh, the landlord looked me in the eye and he said, Three dollars, please. The boys in the bunch around me had a party all night long. I woke up in the morning not feeling very strong. The rental shop was crowded, but I rented boots and skis. They looked like cracked and big slides and they said, Three dollars, please. Three dollars, please. Three dollars, please. Before me, only had 900 guys. They crashed the line ahead of me right there before my eyes. I stood in line for half a day. I thought I'd nearly freeze. And when I got up to the lift, they said, Three dollars, please. Three dollars, please. Three dollars, please. Oh, when I got up to the lift, they said, Three dollars, please. Old ski instructor looked at me and said he was in doubt. That he could teach me anything this game was all about. Your toes weren't in, your rear sticks out, you're knocking at the knees. He swore at me in Swiss and French and he said, Three dollars, please. Three dollars, please. Three dollars, please. Oh, he swore at me in Swiss and French and he said, Three dollars, please. I dragged myself 
into the bar just as the sun went down. A butter rum I just begun with a chance to look around. I saw a girl with big blue eyes, a doll you'd like to speak. I asked this dolly for a day, she said three dollars please. Three dollars please. Three dollars please. Oh, I asked this dolly for a day, she 